<clears throat> hello, hello. Sorry, I just had a, an absolute sneeze attack because I'm allergic to the little man, but, you know, just don't put him up to your face and life is good. But man, that was that was difficult to overcome right before the show. My voice is probably gone by now, but I took a Benadryl and hopefully I'll be in zombie land in a couple of uh, <clears throat> minutes, maybe 15 to 20 minutes. Maybe by the end of the show, I'll say some shit that I was supposed to because I'm half asleep from the Benadryl. Good morning, good morning. Uh, the Daily Show is back. Monday, uh, uh, the 26th of July, 2021. Over the weekend, <clears throat> the Model S Plaid proved to be king daddy of production cars. Ever since I started touting the performance, not the soul, excuse me, the performance of the Model S Plaid or any electric car, I've gotten a whole bunch of hate from potentially Fox body owners that think it's gay, it's stupid, it's dumb. <clears throat> but in terms of performance, you can't really say shit about it. And let's show you the world breaking run, world record breaking run. I don't know where the fuck this happened. Some event that I've never heard of. And it was obviously super badass because the stands are so packed with people. <laughs> <clears throat> but check it out. This thing went. I'm gonna tell you when it went. I'm, what, what do you think is the quickest and fastest Tesla plaid around? Like, what, what do you think it ran? Nine, nine, one, nine, two. Check it out. I get the volume. Bang! That's the eighth mile, five point eight nine five. Gonna be close. Nine point oh, zero eight. Oh, what record? A yeah, just a 908 at 154 with a five second uh, eighth mile. Like, <clears throat> what? A five second eighth. They're going to start outlawing these cars because they're not NHRA legal at most tracks. And that's how they're going to get around. That's how they're going to get around the Model S problem. And the problem is that it's fast and it meets all all weight requirements it meets everything so they're gonna have to outlaw electric motors on most race setups now the downfall of the model s plaid is it takes a <clears throat> excuse me it takes a really long time to launch it like it takes a real long time to launch the car it's like it in, in in optimal conditions you know if you got a over 90 something percent battery you put it in cheetah mode or whatever the fuck it is and then you launch it it just takes a really long time but i wonder what's the record if someone just stages it and floors it like no cheetah mode no optimization of the suspension nothing just floors it and it's gone i don't know <clears throat> and i wonder if they'll because people do have micro records they'll say well yours is the fastest on cheetah mode and mine is the fastest foot brake so i think once people start gutting it once people start playing around with the weight of the car because it's 47. I thought it was 4,500. It's 4,700 pounds. Anthony says, aren't those things governed to 160? Yes, I think 163. <clears throat> and that's what I mean. Like, um, they're not going to be half mile cars. They're not. They're going to be good quarter mile cars, right? So imagine, because Tesla's going to do this. Imagine if Tesla puts that drivetrain in a Roadster. Yeah, go to the Tesla website, click on Roadster, and that's the future. And that's what I've been talking about the whole freaking time where people are like, you're so gay, you know what the fuck you're talking about. As a matter of fact, <clears throat> I was ahead of any YouTuber, anybody, except people that were in the know, like people like Brooks from uh, Drag Times. He's way in the know and the Tesla people. But in terms of like the Mustang community and the, you know, uh, what do you call it? Um, internal combustion engine, the ICE people. This thing with a plaid drivetrain is going to be dumb, dumb. And look at the specs that they're uh, putting out there. Top speed, 250. Acceleration, 8.8 in the quarter. 0 to 16, 1.9. All-wheel drive, base price, $200,000. Base reservation, meaning you got to pay 50K, 50K up front to um, just have it. Founders series price? What in the hell is a Founders series price? They're only going to make a thousand of them. Yeah, this is, imagine a Roadster with the plaid stuff. 
yeah, guys, street racing is over. When this thing shows up to your no prep meet, guys, the digger die event was this week. How many five second cars in the digger die event you think were there? And I actually ran fives in the eighth. Probably a handful. And those are everything done to its street cars. And they're like Fox bodies, S10s, uh, you know, super badass, Billy badass setups. I bet you a handful of those guys went fives. And if you show up with a roadster, you will take the digger die event on four Michelin pilot sport cup twos and take the money. They're going to have to outlaw it, guys. They're going to have to outlaw these vehicles for racing. It is not fair. It's not a fair fight. I mean, you guys are, you got to get with the times. These cars are not fair to have in your event. So, <clears throat> before you say they're gay, before you say they're stupid, before you say they're soulless, you must say they're faster than you. You must say the technology is better than you. You must say that is the future of performance. How can you not? After seeing what a 4,700 pound car can do. Unreal. Paul Monaco says the 10 point option. Anyway, I want to say hi to the people that are here. I apologize. I just want to get on a rant real quick. It's only an hour show, so I want to get to questions, comments, concerns, everything like that. Just talking some shit, but I wanted to give you, you know, my thoughts of what happened over um, the weekend with the Model S Plaid just doing what it's supposed to do. Brooks from uh, Drag Times tried to make a dyno hit on one, and it just wasn't happening. It was jumping all over the dyno. <clears throat> they tried to do it in dyno mode. It wasn't happy. They tried to do it in regular mode. It wasn't happy. It made like die hundred torque, but it just wasn't happy. It was like jumping out of the dyno. It was kind of crazy to look at. Um... Yeah, so it's just kind of one of those things where imagine if you get a roadster. I'm saying like a real racer. Like a real racer gets a hold of a uh, roadster when it comes out, which it could be 10 years from now. Who the hell knows? And he goes to like a dig or die event. Are they going to outlaw that car? Because if they do, that event is basically saying this thing's too fast. True Street. You're going to outlaw a any true street event, or let's say um, uh, drag week, are you going to make a Model S plaid put a cage on it to be NHR illegal? It's, did you do that to demons? Did you do that to bone stock demons that supposedly ran 9-3 and nobody... Does anyone know if anyone actually duplicated the times that Dodge was able to attain <clears throat> with the demon? Like, I don't know anybody. I, don't, I personally don't. Maybe there are people. But I'm saying a bone stock demon, bone stock tune, the way it came, the way Dodge said it ran a 9.3, has anyone been able to duplicate it? And if they have, send me a link. I'll play it because I, I haven't heard of it. I would have heard about it. Or maybe I wouldn't have. Who the hell knows? Jared Wells in the house, Angel Jovell. Uh, 508 Josh, Jason Friedberg, Patina Performance, the usual suspect. Bondo Bird in the house. Uh, Bondo Bird said, don't die. What's happening? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm not doing good. This, these allergies killed me, but I'll be okay. <clears throat> um, electric cars are like trans men competing in women's sports. That's true. That's true. The, and I like how people make fun of the charge times. Oh, my God. <laughs> That's actually the, the, the only thing that they have on the Tesla is that. That's it. They say the charge time, the charge time, the charge time. That's all they have on the Tesla. Not that it's not better. Not that it's not quicker. Not that it doesn't perform way better on the street than most cars on the planet at that weight. What 44,000, freaking 4,700. What 4,000 pound car do you know that can run nines? Stock. Let's go. Anybody. Anybody. Come on. <clears throat> Man, what the fuck? That video you watched of the Tesla is mine and that Facebook page took it without giving me credit. Who cares? Who cares? It's yours and you didn't get credit? Who cares, man? What are you going to get by getting credit? Two seconds of fame? It doesn't matter. Do people know who took the video of certain world breaker, world breaking run, world record break, I can't even say it. World record breaking runs. Who cares if they didn't give you credit? Relax. My God. Jesus. Is that vanilla Coke? No, it is LaCroix. I'm gay. Uh, it's LaCroix uh, tangerine because it like, for some reason, it's it's the only thing I could, I could actually bring down. I, the, the sneezing, 
that sinuses are activated by certain things and this doesn't for what it's almost like having sprite when you're when you have a cold <laughs> alexi b says uh, good evening um eliza says alex vortex v3 for 4500 good price yeah yeah if it's got all the shit the pulley and everything uh you know yeah that's a good price i think new what, what are they 6700 uh i'm saying i hope they come with injectors i hope that comes with everything not just the blower itself that's crazy <clears throat> gonna have to put a charger in the enclosed trailer i to have it at max power every pass i don't think it needs max power at every pass jared wells i think at over 70 percent you're able to get the max performance out of it each time and that's at least three runs right and what what do you just go outside go to the publix or the wawa and just charge it up and you can get some food in between rounds i'm like oh i got like an hour between rounds i'm gonna go over there charge it up for three bucks Get some drink, come back, and run another nine something. <clears throat> uh, Andres Martinez says, good morning. <laughs> Patina Performance says, my sister's Model 3 will probably gap my Fox body on the street. The Model Y will do that. The Mustang Mach-E GT, because Ford hasn't released it yet. So don't you think Ford, and again, I'm not like dick-sucking Ford, because let's be honest, Ford is just flailing, in my opinion, and the performance... It's it, it's over. I just don't care. I I don't I, honestly. I'm kind of giving up on Ford new stuff. Their old stuff. I'll always be a fan of the specialty vehicles and things like that. But when we're talking new stuff, brand new stuff, they're not putting anything out there that makes me go, oh my god, I can't wait to get that. Even Dodge is saying, oh yeah, we're gonna make an electric uh, charger, or and an, and maybe um, Challenger. But it's going to be performance oriented. And then Ford goes, I mean, ours is a crossover SUV. It'll be quick, but it's a crossover uh, over SUV. So that means it's, it's, over, it's over. It's over. It's over. It's over. Nothing is over. Nothing. You just don't turn it off. And their off and the, and their alternative for offering uh, ice performance internal combustion engine is a dinosaur 7.3 liter that chucks the rods at 900 horsepower. Proof. Verifiable. Proof. 7.3. Turbo chucks rods at 900. Really? Oh, but it made a thousand torque. Uh huh. Uh huh. Right before the rod took the fucking block out. Cool. Good job. When is Tesla coming out with a motor and ESC conversion for a Fox body? I mean, they already have certain places uh, unplugged. Is it unplugged performance or something like that? There's there certain places that sell Tesla drivetrains, but they're the old ones. I don't think you can get your hands on a plaid drivetrain obviously that the car just came out and i don't think they're selling you know crank a pallets or jack a pallets or whatever the fuck you want to call them uh, but you can put an electric motor in anything if you have money you can put an electric motor in anything but people are still going to call it gay and dumb while you're out there running eights and sevens guarantee this will happen a private company is going to make an electric something mustang uh nissan uh supra oh i'd love for someone to make an electric supra piss off all the jdm guys or a gtr i don't know the the, the, the body style i r34 uh, or uh, R the really good looking one <laughs> yeah the r34 gtr it to me is the really good looking one like super pretty uh if someone stuck an electric all-wheel drive drivetrain in this thing it would piss off not only most of the fanboys here in the U.S., it would piss off most of the world because the Aussies love this thing. Japs love this thing. I mean, everyone, it, I like this thing. I, I'd love a coyote in this thing. <laughs> well, you're going to fucking ruin it. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Um, Just blower kit, no injectors, boost the pumps. Oof. No. Oh boy, I, that, that's, I, I'd hit a beefcake before I'd hit anyone else up before that. We have a Maki -E performance on order. No, it's got to be a Maki -E GT. Or is it performance? Is there a Maki -E performance and a Maki -E GT performance? It has to be a GT, in my opinion. <clears throat> Says uh, Beefcake Racing. It'll be a fun first entry into electric. That's what you got to do. If you're if you're the parts game, if you're the parts manufacturers, if you're the aftermarket, and you're not buying a Mustang Maki, -E, something's wrong with you. I have to buy one. Once it, and again, I'm not gonna buy it until I'm not gonna pre-order shit. I'm gonna wait till it's on the lot. I'm gonna wait, and maybe a year after it's out, then I'll get it because I don't want to clout chase. 
I don't want to get it and then be like, oh, and then the whole channel depends on that fucking car. Fuck that shit. I'm going to make sure everything's shaking out, all the dumb shit, because I'm sure there's going to be a bunch of dumb shit. Look, I had an 18 Mustang, busted the trans immediately. Then the phaser, uh, uh, the intake cam phasing issue is still a thing that Ford hasn't addressed it. And the forks suck on the newer MT82s. So knowing that, I probably wouldn't have bought a manual. I wouldn't even bought a Mustang because I don't want a 10 or 80 Mustang. I am I'm a little gay, but I'm not full gay, you know? So there you go. Coyote Swap R34. Boy, that would be unreal. Maybe the Porsche looks good. All electric cars are ugly. Michael Merck. <laughs> okay. Uh, electric 65 Mustang Texas Mile. That'll be interesting. But man, uh, I already showed you the IDR. I already showed you guys the Volkswagen IDR, what it can do. It did, a, it did the Pikes Peak Hill Climb in record time two years ago, three years ago. It did the Goodwood Festival of Speed in less than 40 seconds. The only one to do that. Faster than F1 cars. So, sorry, a full max effort electric race car is always going to be better than a full max effort race uh, ice engine. Oh, excuse me. Ooh, uh, Tesla Swap AC Cobra. Nah, I wouldn't do that. I'd, I'd do a Tesla Swap Terminator. Piss off those guys that still have the barbed wire tattoos and they're still thinking they're relevant with their Terminator Cobras. No, Alex, it's a mach -E Performance Plus GTR Drag Pack. That's <laughs> beautiful. Oh, shit. Got to get that R&D if you want to stay relevant, says Anthony. He's right. Hey, Alex, have you heard anything about Ford discontinuing their control pack? I hate that Frank isn't at PBH anymore to give us weekly updates, Eric Copeland. Someone is going to start giving you updates, right? But he knows whatever Jake knows. So if I ask Jake a question and say, Jake, what do you know about this? And he's like, this and this and that, I'll, I'll see who's going to relay the information. It might be me. I, I, you might see my face start popping up on the PBH channel. Um, but I'll try to get as well versus as possible. I have 15 things going on, so it's going to be a little difficult to dedicate a ton of time helping out PBH with the video stuff. What VP fuel do you recommend for Gen 1 VMP, Gen 2 blower, ID 1000 BEP? Any? MS-109, 260 GT, well, that's Sunoco. Um, C10, not C16. C16 is highly leaded. I mean, you're not going to, it's a Gen 1. You're not going to, you're not going to make over 700 and, and have it be reliable anyway. Brucey BTV says, I watched a Tesla Plaid run 96 yesterday. Dude bought it a week ago off the lot. Well, age doesn't matter. <laughs> age of the vehicle doesn't matter. It's bone stock. As long as you have a, a good battery, a happy track, uh, meaning, you know, everything is pretty kosher. Um, and you're light. Like if you're a light guy and you're willing to gut the car, you can have an eight second Tesla, like in eight guys, it goes fives in the eighth. That's like a, that's like a measuring stick. A lot of people go, I want to go fives in the eighth when they only have eighth mile tracks around them. And this thing did it stock stock. It's crazy. Um, hey, have anyone considered the electric assisted trailer with its own electric battery and motor would increase the range of all electric vehicles when towing? Think about that, Reginald Johnson. Like, imagine a, a, a truck that has a big footprint. I'm saying like mass. Let's say a, an F-150 and you have the ability to put solar panels on the bed or an RV, a solar, a solar assisted RV or a 18 wheeler with a 53 foot trailer that has solar panels and Tesla battery packs on it. I mean, guys, and not just forget the lithium ion stuff. The stuff that's emerging is, is unbelievable. So just wait till all that happens in about 10 years, you're going to have thousand mile range, everything a thousand mile range. Yeah. You're going to have to pay for that thousand mile range. You have to pay big money, but there will be something that has over a thousand mile range guaranteed. <clears throat> Just partially gay, only puts a tip in, says Boost Lee. California cannot keep its electric grid alive as it is now. Let's see what happens when everyone has an electric car and tries to charge it. That's not the fault of the car manufacturer. That's the fault of the electric grid. And that's the fault of environmentalists. If you had geothermal and nuclear power plants popping up all over the place, there wouldn't be an issue. But dump fucks like the EPA are are going into places like Lund Racing with armed agents trying to stop people from tuning their car. But, you know, let's make all cars electric and really stress out the grid in a state that sucks dick. Don't forget, guys, Enron. The whole thing with Enron and everything was because of California. They literally would, they literally would, like, fuck with them 
and tell them, oh yeah, you need we need to charge you more for electricity because of these fires and this and that. And you know who made all the fucking money? The energy companies. Because they're like, oh yeah, we don't have to, they're going to start telling you to shut things off. Wait till August comes around and it's the hottest it's ever been. And they're going to start saying, oh, global warming, all this bullshit, you got to turn off your AC. Oh, it's a... Like Californians are surprised that it's dry and hot where the fuck they're at. It's a desert. Motherfucker was a desert before you got there. And you're surprised it's dry and hot? Blows my mind that Californians don't know where they live. <laughs> Battery degradation is a thing too, though. Yeah, exactly. So's motor, so's trans, so's everything. Everything degradates. Everything degradates. How many of you, Coyote Mustang owners, bought an 11 Mustang GT and kept it to this day? How many of you have the iPhone 1, iPhone 2? No. We are a, <clears throat> what do you call it? We replace everything. Our society replaces everything. You know, we're consumers. So every two or three years, the consumer, the people that, the, the manufacturers, they change the design a little bit. How many of you dumb motherfuckers will buy an iPhone because it comes in extra colors than they do now? You will spend another 11 to 12 or $1,400 on an iPhone and say the following line. Well, I wanted it because it came in green and the battery life is great. And the battery life is great Duh. most of you guys don't even realize your whole fucking your whole world is run by electricity and batteries like everywhere everywhere hell most data centers a data center that has um server farms and just everything just ridiculous what do you think their backup is when the electricity goes down go ahead mm-hmm a combination of a diesel generator and a shitload of batteries. A shitload of battery backups. How many right how many of you right now have your computers plugged into a battery backup? Huh? How many of you have your computer right now plugged into a battery backup just in case a, a lightning storm hits? <clears throat> Stupid. Uh throwaway society, wild horse. He's not wrong. Um, the infrastructure is not there. It's gonna take a long time for it to be there. No, it won't. The environmentalist and the EPA will not allow the, the grid to be what it should be. Imagine there was no EPA. Oh, things would be dirtier. Oh, yeah, cool. Uh, it'll look like, um, like, what's the planet? What's the planet where uh, Star Wars, where it looked like a, li like, like a literal city? I think it'll look like that. It'll look basically, you know, very industrialized. You'll see power plants everywhere. You might see, you know, because there's no regulation, you might see some people pollute and all this shit. But... If the EPA reined things back and environmentalists shut the fuck up, more nuclear power plants would pop up everywhere and the grid would not be an issue. Why is it an issue now? They're getting rid of coal. So for an electric car society to thrive, you still need fossil fuels. I'm not stupid. I understand that. But I think if you allow, take the regulation away from clean coal, take the regulation, regulation away from fracking, natural gas, and add nuclear, the grid wouldn't be an issue. It wouldn't be an issue. Um, I still have my Samsung S5 because replaceable batteries. Nice. Very nice. Thermal runaway is a big issue as well. I think it was 19. The whole padlock to motor e-race went up in flames from one battery kicking off. Thermal runaway, it was a total loss. I like how people find one or two issues in electric cars as if gas cars are perfect. Imagine you're a horse owner and you're looking at these things and you're like, wait a minute, I have to get in a vehicle that has an explosive liquid underneath my child's ass, cuts in the back. It purposely pumps fuel from the, the, the combustible fuel from there on a line through an electric pump, through an electric wires. And then it has little tiny explosions in the engine that's controlled by a computer. And you expect me to trust that? I'll take clip clop the horse and let him shit in my mouth all the way to market. That's how you guys sound right now. Hey, Alex, found a 2012 Laguna Seca in silver with red, 7,000 miles for 45,000 miles. Let me know if you want to, me to send it to you. Like, I have money to like buy that. Send it over, please. YDBTforlife at gmail.com. Here we go. YDBTforlife at gmail. You never know. When you're motivated, you make things happen. <clears throat> um, iPhone 1. These guys are still on the walkie-talkie Motorola. 
Uh, what's the best way to dyno a 10R80 Gen 3? Uh, whatever the fuck that means. Uh, also, what's the best fuel to run without a fuel system when boosted? Race gas. You know, C10, C16, if you're okay with replacing O2 sensors all the time. Uh, Sunoco 260 GT. I've only said it a million trillion times. Um, Pitsky P. The minerals for batteries, e-cars are largely mined in China. Again, emerging battery technology. Do yourself a fucking favor, Pitsky P. Google and YouTube emerging battery technologies and you will just shut up. Let that sink in. Let the I got you guys. Let that Google emerging battery technologies. It will shut your and and look at it with an open mind, which I know you don't have. Look at it with an open mind. You're going to go oh, Hell. Forget China, Pitsky P. Are you right now typing on an iPhone that's made in China? Talking about China in a, in a negative way? Are you right now watching me on an iPhone that's made in China? Are you right now wearing Nikes that are made in China? Are you right now watching me through a computer screen, computer monitor, or anything that is manufactured in China? Shut up with your China bullshit, bro. Seriously. Because you're if you are one of those made in USA motherfuckers, are you paying $250 for badass sneakers made in the US? Are you paying $4,500 for a TV that's made in the US? Are you paying... Top dollar to supply people good paying jobs, unions, big money to have a phone that does the exact same shit a China phone at a thousand bucks do or three thousand bucks for a phone. Which one are you gonna pay? Which one are you gonna which are you gonna buy? You're gonna buy the cheapest one because you're a cheap fucking prick. Uh yo, I'm am I stupid for wanting a daily gen three CTSV? Uh or should I stick with a gen two three boosted CTSV is a better car? CT it's a Cadillac. It's a Cadillac, it's a better car. Of course you should get the CTSV. You kidding me? Get the fuck away from these Honda boys with their Mustangs, bro. Soon you won't be able to replace the batteries. Tesla, according to Musk, heard those batteries only last two or three years. Meanwhile, I've seen 2011 and 2012 Teslas just kicking ass around. Like, let me see. Uh, is there a 2011 Tesla model uh, Tesla P100D? Uh, da -da 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 -da. New model. What, what year did they come out? Uh, the P100D. Yep, 2012. I still see 2012 or so Model S's around. That's nine years. Nine years. No battery replacement. Over 100,000 miles. No problem. <clears throat> if you don't want to use pharmaceutical, you can try vitamin C. It's great as... Uh, shut up, card. <laughs> oh, I mean, sorry. That's Nestor. I like him. I've never had any luck with natural anything. Stuff shit in my mouth, <laughs> Benadryl, and I'm done, and it's like magic. When you supplement with natural, nothing works. Nothing works on me. Alex, you should try Allegra. It doesn't work. Alex, you should try Zycam. What was Zycam? I forget. <laughs> I forget. The nothing works except Benadryl. Nothing works except Benadryl for me. Real talk, though. Eventually, all will run out in the world. That's a given. The electric thing is just the beginning of preparing for that. Thank you. Uh, I'd sell a testicle for a new Tesla Model S Plaid. Uh, me too. <laughs> do, they, do, they, do they give you by, by, like, by the ounce? I got some big balls on me. Uh, Alex, twin turbo boss, 950 verbal horsepower. How long do you think the MT-82 will hold out? Roll racing until I can get a Ben Calmer State 3. They go stock. They go stock. So at any moment, your shit can blow up. And literally at any moment, your shit can blow up. Um, William Butt Liquor. <laughs> will Lund offer a ghost cam tune for a new Tesla if I get one? Did you see that the new Tesla has outside speakers and allow you to emulate any noise you want. It allows you to emulate any noise you want. I'm not gonna put Brooks's video up on here cause I'm sure he'll copyright it. But if you go on drag times and you see the video where he took the Tesla to the dyno, he makes it sound like a rotary. There is an option in the screen that makes the car sound like a rotary. Because if you want engine noises, the car will make engine noises for you. It'll sound like a cammed Hellcat. It'll sound like a turbo something. And it'll sound like a rotary if you want it to. Cool, gay, yes, but it'll sound like something. Little kids make LeBrons in a hot ass warehouse for pennies a day. Then they sell the shoes for $300. Max goes and says, have you heard anything else about the ESS Sentry Kit, nothing. Apparently, side-by-side -side versus Vortec and Pro Charger, they are making better power with less boost. Nope, I have not heard anything about them. And even if I think they're better, I'm going to go with what's vetted. And what's vetted is Vortec and Pro Charger. Sorry. If ESS Tuning wants to get into the game, good for them. Uh, you know, I, I'm vetted. I, I, imagine a brand new 
PD blower comes out. And now we have to fuck with that when there's like eight already. It's just, I'm not interested in anything else. Why, why, why reinvent the wheel? If it's already done, now ESS tuning stuff might be great, but I'm just not interested in adding another thing to the market. I just, I just don't care. Me, personally, they want to put it out there. We'll tune it. We'll tune whatever the fuck. Fo- Hell, I tune on three kids, and they all fucking tune differently. Supposedly the same part number. So if ESS tuning wants to get into the game, I don't care. Go ahead. Have at it, brother. My plaid is going to sound like a Lexus LFA, says Patino Performance. What would be a good price to offer for the V3 kit? I don't know. I have no idea. Ask Beefcake. I have no idea. No idea. Ask Beefcake whether they are new with the, the way it's configured. And if it's close to forty five hundred bucks, I tell the guy, "Hey man, new, I can get that. Can you, can you, you know, give me a better deal?" I, I, I don't know anything about used parts anymore, bro. <clears throat> uh, should I grab a Chevy SS if you can't swing a CTSV? I like the Chevy SS. Call me crazy. It's a good looking car. It doesn't look too much like a Cavalier, like the GTO does. <clears throat> Natural boobs work for me, says Jesus Perez. <laughs> oh shit. William Butler says, yeah, I shared that video of the one he made and it sound like a camped Hellcat. That was kind of cool. That was kind of cool. I thought he did, really, you know, I think, I think Tesla, the one complaint he had, which actually made sense because the Tesla people, company, think of everything. He goes, one thing they should think of is when you get in your car and you swipe down to go to reverse, when you stop, it should automatically go forward. And he, he, he made the case as to why that should be. And I thought he made a really good point, in my opinion. Honda 5 says, enjoying the daily content. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. I want the Jetsons flying car sound. That'd be cool. Do you think I need a fuel system on my Ederbach 2650 supercharged 10 already Mustang? 700 to 7 wheel horsepower. Yeah. Yeah, I wouldn't want to rely on a stock pump boosted to 16 or 18 volts to, to supply enough fuel for that car. And if you're on pump gas trying to make 700, buy a new engine just in case that one pops. Thank you. Especially with the TVS. <clears throat> and, um, hey, Alex. Ordering a four Innovations fuel system from Beefcake. Do I need dual regulators? Supercharged 2010? 2010? I think you mean 2020? Uh, I'm going to wait for him. Uh, I'm going to wait for him to, to... 2020. Okay. Um... Yes, uh, need is a relative word. If you get a dual regulator setup, which I recommend, I would I would regulate the direct injection site to 60 PSI, no boost reference, just 60 PSI, leave it alone. And then the PI side to 45 PSI at idle with a boost reference. And uh, there you go. Um, he's an Odin. Okay, so there, I already answered the question. Uh, just bought a 21 GT, a PP1. Can you recommend a cold air intake? The bone stock one. If you don't have any porting done to your car, if you have the stock throttle body, if you have everything stock, there is no reason to upgrade the cold air intake, especially in the summer months. Now, let's say you do some porting. Let's say you get a bigger throttle body. Let's say you get some headers. Let's say you want to go max effort. Yeah, get a 120 millimeter, and the one I recommend would be probably PMAS. If I'm going to recommend any of them, it would be PMAS or Steeda because it's closed. So the Steeda configuration with the closed air box, math uh, in the box and insert in about 120 millimeter is perfect. In the colder weather uh, months, um, I, a PMAS would do really well too. Just because their data is so super repeatable, it's crazy. Email do the Laguna Sega to grind it to grind it easier. The subject is 2012 Laguna Seca. Let's take a look at this Laguna Seca this guy sent me to see if I could buy the oh little man just hanging out. See that that's a good pup. You gotta get him tired. And I think that's why I was sneezing. I was getting him tired right before the show, just so he can like, you know, chill the fuck out. And he seems to be like it when he's close to me, he he relaxes. When he's over there, he kind of starts to freak out and starts doing dumb shit and gets in trouble and starts peeing and shitting all over the fucking place. So trying to keep him calm. But the problem is when you play with him, I sneeze a lot. So, okay, here we go. We got ourselves a Laguna Seca. Woof. Oh, this is a Facebook post? P.S. on the off chance if you want to buy it, if these sell offers find it. Okay, okay. Um, so this guy sent me a um, Laguna Seca. Boom, look at that. Oh, here we go. Oh, Blowfish Bracket. 2012 Laguna Seca, 1 out of 150, made in this color, thousands of dollars, blah, blah, Boss Extreme Duty Oil Cooler, Blowfish Racing Manual Shifter, take that out. White Line Sway Bar, okay, White Line Front, okay, White Line. Oh, my God, AST, NX Squat Correction, Extreme Grip Front Toe, oh, my God, Warsh Lag. You know what? The more he writes, the less I want it. I want it stock. 
I wanted stock, bro. Like the more he writes, the the less I want it. Yeah, I mean it's a nice car. It looks good. Likes I like this. It sits nice. It sits nicer than stock. It's a little lower. It looks really good. We'll see. About forty five thousand, little rich for my blood right now. But if I was rolling in it, I'd get it because that's one of those, one of those bucket list cars that you'd like to have in the stable. You know what I'm saying? But thank you. I'll take I'll take a look at it. <clears throat> uh, just a uh, hole in your headlight. Put a trumpet on, and you'll be set with a cold air. I have a Pro Charge Coyote, and I and I can put any type of coolant in there. Specific coolant should I be using for the Coyote motor? <laughs> stock shit. What whatever it calls for stock, put that in there. Carter's Gaming says my game. My friend got a, a Siley fuel system. Is that okay for 750 wheel on the 85 with the Gen 5 Whipple 3875 pulley? I have long tubes. I can't afford a four innovations and poor 750 is all I want. Carter's Gaming, save and get a four innovations fuel system. Stay on 650 pump gas for as long as you need to, and get. Uh, a four innovations fuel system so you don't have to be limited to any horsepower setting because what happens is when you pull it down to 750 you're going to want to make more and more and more and you're out of fuel system really quickly michael merck says i'm maxed out on the 375 pulleys and e70 on my gen 5 wibble 19 auto so there you go you're going to be maxed out real fast alexi b says alex i don't know if you answered this question last session which motorcycle would you buy and why? I already said that. It was a VMAX. I think it's a Honda VMAX. Honda? Or Yamaha. Yamaha, sorry. Yamaha VMAX. It would be a VMAX. If I'm going to get a bike, it will be a VMAX. Um, but I don't want to get a bike because then people are going to think I'm going to do bike shit. And uh, if I get it, it will look something like that. You know, it will be kind of custom and shit. It would be cool. It wouldn't look stock. It would look kind of like pretty tricked out but nothing crazy. But this is fucking badass. So, yeah, i do something like that because I don't care for glides or harleys or no i am i just want to cruise by myself leave me alone and you know take off one day for an hour or two and come back and that's it i don't want to modify too much except for what it looked like i don't want to get on the forums i don't care i don't care <laughs> joseph spang says i don't think alex is going to recommend anything besides a four innovations fuel system and why do i do that to save you time and me time Save you time and save me time because you're going to want to go make more horsepower than you think you want to make because 750, you're going to get bored with it real quick. And all of a sudden, you're going to want 850 and you're out of fuel system. You get to buy a whole other fuel system. Not a good look. Um, Edgar Andrade says, thanks for dialing in my car today. Yes, a TVS Odin um, probably making north of 800. I just The dyno was kind of wonky, but it read really well. And man, the, the people um, gave me logs, gave me graphs. They're awesome. They did a great job. We're supposed to dial it in tomorrow, but we got with it on Friday. I had some time, and we finished it today. And tomorrow was supposed to be the dyno session. So he he can he pretty much has a 680 or so horsepower pump gas, Odin. And then when he pulls these down, he probably makes over 800. So awesome, awesome. Got it done within about five or six revisions total on everything, both fuels. Awesome, awesome work. Austin Tart says, Alex, I feel you for the questions you get. Bless you. Oof, you have no idea. That's here. I get questions in the ticket system that are way worse, but you have to be professional. You have to be professional. And nine times out of 10, people go, are you that guy from the YouTube channel? I go, nope, nope. That's another Alex. He's the funny one. I'm just the guy that sends out tunes. Why? Because I don't want to extend the conversation more than it needs to. Tune attached. Have a great day. Thanks. Love your videos. I don't reply. You'd like the Ducati. No, I don't. I wouldn't like the Ducati. No, thank you. I, I want what I want. Leave me alone. <laughs> um, one to two days, Nick. Beefcake racing. Okay, Beefcake senior you're answering questions. Awesome. Pup is snoozing. Pup is snoozing. And he, this is his third snooze today. Um, he plays, gets up, shits, eats, snooze. Repeat, 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 repeat. My car started throwing a PO316 code uh, out of nowhere. Is that the infamous crank relearn that I need? I don't think so. If it's just out of nowhere, PO316 seems like a um, general misfire. But it's like a weird one. Oh, no. No, no, no. You got another issue, brother. Right here because uh, Google is pretty awesome. Um, code PO316 is triggered when your engine control module detects that the position of either of your vehicle's crankshaft or camshaft is out of its parameters, which can lead to an engine misfire upon starting. 
if if these are outside the designated parameters the engine will misfire so it is not a crank relearn you have an issue with either a phaser a tensioner or in the cam system and you're welcome for googling it for you blown away i am absolutely blown away that we have an encyclopedia of everything ever made in history ever right here at the palm of our hands and we don't use it properly uh, well, i'm gonna wait for alex to get on alex gets on a bunch of people on 300 some people on okay let me see if he answers my question alex what's a po316 code shit he didn't answer my question alex what's a po316 code Oh, fuck, you missed it again. Alex, what's appeal? Google. Everything. Google everything. You even pissed him off. See, now he's up. Uh, out of sync. Uh, the, the zombie, the Mustang Electric Power 800. What's he saying? Zombie 222 Electric 68 Mustang Electric Power 800 horsepower, 1800 foot pounds of torque, 0 to 61.94, top speed is 174. No doubt the future of high performance. I have, I've never heard of that. I'd like to see it actually perform that. Like, perform it. Not just say it might, because most people project shit. Um, Google, a.k.a. Alex. Right. Like, I'm their Google machine. It blows my mind. I'm like, everything on the planet ever in history, ever, is here. And you don't know how to access it? I'm blown away that some people don't even know how to communicate via email anymore. Like, email, guys. Imagine email is writing a letter. Okay, for those young guys, back in the day, if you wanted to communicate from with someone far away and you didn't have time to call them or whatever, you simply write them a nice long letter of what you're doing, how you're feeling, you put it in the mail, and they get it two to three days later and they read it and they reply. Could take a week or two to reply. They email, electronic mail, was supposed to be replacing regular mail. So the thought was, you say, hello, my name is Brian. I'd like for you to check what a PO316 code is. PO316 code is, is it a crank relearn? Thank you very much. Have a great day. No, you know how people do email now? People go, cool. Or they say, bet. Or they say, I you know, people say, I don't know by spelling it this way. Check the chat. This is how they spell. Oh, sorry. This is how they spell. I don't know. I don't. I don't know. I don't. I don't. I won't. I won't. I on. I on. I on. I don't. Like, this is, I don't know, I think. I don't. <laughs> Y'all too? Y'all too? Do you want to? Y'all too? How about finna? Finna. I have seen people type finna in email. They say, I'm finna do that right now. Finna? Fixing to. Which is even wrong. I'm finna do that right now. I don't, I'm finna do that right now. Bet. What the fuck are you doing? Type English. So when people don't do that in the email system, when they when they when they get all the the fucking system, I go yo yo yo, excuse me sir, please tell me what you'd like for me to do. I need to have clear, concise uh, uh, correspondence back and forth so that we can best serve your needs. And don't you know it? They straighten up right away. They're like oh oh oh. Hello, sir. I am very sorry. I apologize for that. I am going to go ahead and pull the plugs and see what the deal is. All of a sudden, they straighten the fuck up. I don't finna. Oh, my God. <clears throat> I want that car. It says Dirty 20. Yeah, I want that car. Exactly, Desert 1320. And I'm like, wow, are we just getting real stupid? Or do I just deal with stupid people? It's a combination of both. Um, Section 8, people talk like that. Ash, showing your age, bro. <laughs> Ash, showing your age, bro. I don't, f yacht too. Fixing, finna. What are you doing, bro? What are you doing? You're going to fall. I guarantee he's going to fall. And you know what? I let him fall. I, he's got to learn that if he does certain things, it hurts. So I let him fall. He's eating shit so many times. And guess what? 
He doesn't do it a second time. He learns really quickly. I'm finna watch LD's Tesla's Gap 5.0s. <laughs> People learn that talk from hive mind cesspool we call Twitter. Really? I don't even have a Twitter account because uh, th th why? Why would I want a Twitter account? It's not funny. It's not fun. It's gay. It's stupid. I barely want to talk to anybody. Twitter's going to make it easier for me to connect to more people. Fuck that shit. Modern conveniences has crazy, created lazy and ignorant people. I worry for our future. I don't think people know how to actually spell. I think if you were to actually have someone write something down, like properly, like write down instructions on how to tie your shoes, I think people would lose their fucking mind. You're going to fall. I guarantee that <laughs> you're going to fall. You could. You're going to fall. I'm going to let you fall. See, it's twisting. See what happens when you push? Twist. Cause and effect. You push, the chair twists. Cause and effect. It's like the Matrix with the Frenchman. You're going you're, you're gonna to commit suicide. Just stay right there, bro. Here. Here, play with this fucking thing. There you go. You got to get him riled up. And he like, oh, okay, I can play with this motherfucker? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Then, then he's all of a sudden at war with it. <laughs> okay, the sun went down a little bit. There we go. Uh, howdy, Alex is Michael Nunn. How you doing? Uh, that dog is awesome. Dogs, dogs are good people, bro. You're gonna, you're, go it's gonna be a bad time. You're, you're gonna eat shit over there. I need you to fucking relax and do nothing. <laughs> ah, fuck. Remember Hooked on Phonics? I do. I do remember Hooked on Phonics. Um, at least they still do spelling bees. Yeah, I'm kind of proud of the fact that that still happens. But a lot of people just, when, when I, when I, I'm professional in the email system. And the moment they find out I'm Alex from, you know, whatever, they, they start to get friendly and they start to talk a little shit. And I keep it professional. I keep it real professional. Even the, uh, one of the guys over in the West Coast right now, I'm tuning I tell him, yo, 4.30, I'm done. He's like, what do you mean? You don't want to keep tuning the car? I'm like, I don't want to tune your car on the first place, but I have to. And the moment I, I'm not obligated to do so anymore, I'm going home and I'm having, or I'm going to log off and live my life. And they're like, what? I thought we were friends. I thought we could be together. I'm like, no, I'm just tuning your car. I get paid to tune your car, bro. Um, most of the, most can't even write cursive anymore. Read an analog or read an analog clock. <laughs> what do you think about the electric strip of road in Sweden that recharges your car? Ow, never heard of it. Never heard of it. What is that all about? I have no idea what that is. Like literally no idea what that is. Uh, here you go. Just keep, I just keep playing with them. I, I imagine this is what mothers do with their kids when they're just sick of them. <laughs> or just stick a phone. I can't just give them my phone. I'm going to do what mothers do. Here's my fucking phone. Here, play with that motherfucker. Go. That's what moms do. Let's see if that works. Hey, look, it's working. See, I get it. I get it when mom gives kids their phones. I gave him my phone and he's just fucking playing with it. Perfect. <laughs> Don't poke a hole in it, motherfucker. Thousand bucks. Um, getting John Wick vibes here. <laughs> Even the people that try to act professional can't spell. Exactly. And it blows my mind that a lot of people are out there trying to sound smart. Like they say, allegedly <laughs> or supposedly. <laughs> Oh, you're done with the phone? Fuck. I gotta I gotta play like videos for him. <laughs> Here, eat that. Uh wanna break their brain? Show them a dial hand wristwatch and ask them what time it shows. Those guys think strippers still like them. <laughs> Oh my God! Someone said getting John Wick vibes here. Yeah, no, he's he's a good pup. He's one of those pups that um, once he reaches a certain age, he'll be super chill. You guys will see what Boston Terriers are like. Boston Terriers are special dogs, in my opinion, and that's the only breed that I kind of care to have. Um, they're they're friendly. They have tons of personality. They're athletic as shit. Um, they're pretty cool. They last a while. They don't get that sick. They're 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 good pups. Alex, would you choose a Superformance or Backdraft Cobra, and why? I've never heard of Superformance. Um, let's look. Let's look at a super performance. Super performance Cobra. I got to keep one hand on this guy so he can stay. Okay, super performance MK2 models. Let me see. Oh, oh, a backdraft. <laughs> Immediately. Backdraft. Yeah, I, I, these are okay. There's nothing wrong with them. But the backdrafts, in my opinion, are just that next level of, um, of looks. Because when you look at this, right, it looks more to what the original car was intended to look like, right? It's probably 
period correct as fuck, and it's a really nice car. But the Backdraft Cobra is just, to me, slightly sleeker, uh, a little bit um, nicer looking, in my opinion. Um, it's just uh, super baller. It's just a little rounder in the corners. I just kind of like it better. That's just personal preference. There's nothing wrong with Superformance, because I'm sure I'm going to get some shit from someone that owns um, Superformance or some bullshit. But... Honestly, it's just, it's just, oh, come on, come on, look at this, bro, shit, Ugh. this is what's, oh, this is what they got right here, they're all sold, god damn it, they're all sold, look at this thing, yep, oh my god, yo, oh, bro, 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 stop it, let me stop looking at these fucking things, damn, I don't got that kind of money, fuck that, <clears throat> uh make a tiktok no alex would you choose no uh, alex how about an escape how about an escape goat don't know what he's talking about what's an escape goat i don't get it put on paw patrol for tony it will keep him occupied yeah but you know he'll probably shit all over the place driving my plaid on autopilot watching this alex says cheat code see see what i mean he could can you watch porn can you pull up porn hub on your shit while you're driving literally jerking off as you drive you guys have been on long drives by yourselves. You know you guys reach down and grab your dick because all of a sudden it gets hard for no fucking reason. Like you're just driving down I-95 and you hit what? South Carolina into what? Uh, Georgia and there ain't shit happening and it's three in the morning and you're like, I'm going to slide my hand down my pants. Oh my God, it's hard as a rock. Maybe I can jerk it. <laughs> Imagine you have access to high speed internet and this fucking thing shows you you know, 4K vagina, unreal. Ow. Uh, have a budget of sixty to $70,000. Looking between a C8 Corvette and a Shelby 350. Keeping both close to stock. What would you choose as a part-time daily driver? Uh, this, this, if you can afford a C8, the C8. The C8. 350 is great. It is discontinued, so you might be able to, you know, get a good one for, for like a 2020 but out of those two, the C8, in my opinion, is more car than the 350, unless you can afford an R. The R is like big money now. If you can get like a 2020 GT350 R, okay, get that. But if you can get a regular G a GT350 or a C8 Corvette as a part-time daily driver, it's hard to beat the looks and the performance of a C8 Corvette. Driving my wife's Volvo on pilot assist during the same thing. All I got to do is keep my hand on the steering wheel. <laughs> C8 for sure says Selim to uh, the other guy who asked about um, Israel Rios. 60 to 70K? Boy, what's a new Corvette cost? Because the GT350 is what? Like a fully loaded bitch is like what? 70, 80K? Like isn't it really expensive right now? It's crazy. Ow, ow, ow. Uh, Miles McCullough says 67 Fairlane 500 with the Turbo Coyote and a T56. Got it. Here. Here, bite this. Bite this fucking bear. There you go. Bite the fucker. He? There you go. Fight him. Fight him. <laughs> go hey he's like no you're the one that's handling it <laughs> loving rc8 says beefcake racing see beefcake it's hard to beat a c8 if as a part-time daily it looks good it does all the right things it handles it accelerates well um performs well it gets attention it's kind of hard to beat that's my car that went 9-0. Them Hellcats are her. And now, I mean, I'm telling you, it's faster than a demon. Congrats, Cheat Code. It's way faster than a demon. And uh, I'm saying a demon from the factory, meaning bone stock. It's the fastest bone stock car ever, period. So as of now, so until the Roadster comes out, and then you're going to have eight-second factory-equipped vehicles. Fuck. Crazy times. Crazy time we're living. Tony's getting you trained well, exactly. Now, usually when, if I ignore him, he just goes away. But the problem is I am preoccupied with you guys and he's going to take advantage. I don't know. A GT350 is nasty. I drive mine and it's fun as hell. Miles, get in a C8. Before you say your GT350 is super badass, get in a C8. Get in a C8 and see what that feels like and what it's like. And you're going to go, oh, oh, okay, well, it's totally different. <laughs> hey, cut the shit. You hear me? Cut the shit. It's enough. Let's see if he calms down. Usually that, usually that helps. He's like, I'm out of here. Fuck this. I'm going to jump. <laughs> He'll jump. <laughs> He'll suicide himself. He's got, there he goes. Whoa. <laughs> oh, shit. He's like, I'm out of here. Fuck that. Luckily, there's a rug here, so it softened the blow. 
but he can't get back up. Uh, the sea it kills it on all seasons, no less. Unreal. Did you do anything to it to go 9 0? Says Desert1322 um, uh, cheat code. That's flying. It's hard not to look into the Teslas. What about Rimac? Those are not production yet. I think they are in production. I just don't know if they're going to run 9 0. That's kind of crazy. Chico says, look at your Facebook messages on the Pornhub deal. Uh, okay. <laughs> it, he probably has like the wrong account because I can't imagine he, he has the right account. <laughs> Everyone goes, oh, it's the Alex Flores account, right? I'm like, sure, totally. It's the Alex. Yeah, he doesn't have the right account. <laughs> There's no messages there. Yeah, no, no, no. Uh, let me see. Let me see. Nope, nothing, nothing. Nope, you got the wrong account. It's okay, though. No big deal. Um, he's gone. Pupper goes splat. Wipeout. Yeah, he just jumped. He did this. <laughs> Uh, he's entertaining to look at. I'll give you that much. I'm sure I'm gonna have to kill, clean up all the diarrhea. And oh, he's underneath me. What? You came back. You, but you, dude, you jumped. You suicided yourself. <laughs> you Epstein'd yourself, bro. I think he wants to go out. That's the thing. So I'm gonna end it in about uh, five minutes and then take him out and do the thing. The 922 was street surface out, and it, <laughs> it's called the Rimac Nevera. A uh, guy changed his boss through to fly with a 10 pounds lighter and now cannot get rid of the misfire code even with a Ford IDS relearn. Have you heard of anybody this with this problem and what was the fix? So when you lighten your flywheel, now you're effectively changing the flywheel mass and that's what changes and that's what the, the relearn does. It actually learns the flywheel mass. I can't imagine you'd have to manipulate stuff for flywheels in the tomb, but he might have to. And also, does he have a watt box or a two-step installed? When you have a watt box or two-step installed, sometimes a, 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 a crank relearn is never successful. I don't know how anyone can hate a C8. It's different from what Corvette recently was, but it's still a beautiful car. I agree 100%. Chaldean guy. Uh, Chico says, I don't know water count. Don't worry about it. I'll take a look at it after the show, and I'll, I'll put it up. Two mil for the Rimac, though. Two, oh, oh, okay, the Rimac. There was another one, a luxury company that was offering electric cars that were also low nine-second cars. I, I mentioned it on one of my streams, but I forget which one it was. But it was like a super high-end luxury car, but I think the price was similar. I think the price was like $130,000, $160,000. It is a luxury version of the model Plaid, uh, S Plaid. Beautiful. And I think it's like a low nine-second car. I'll look into it and talk about it maybe tomorrow if I remember. Uh, Mini Bike Madman says, yep, not even 100% power. He said, cheat code is your name, Chad. Oh, Chad. I know one Chad down in that area. I'm not, not sure if that's him, though. Um, I definitely like the C8, but it was built to chase after the Ford GT. Uh, I mean, yeah, but if you're going to if you're gonna give me, put a gun to my head and say GT250 or C8, it's really hard to bet against that C8. You know what I'm saying? See it from the front? Yes, please. See it from the back? No, thanks. Lucid. Thank you. Lucid. Lucid performance. Look at Lucid cars. They're fucking badass. I can't. I can't let him go. He, he definitely has to go outside. So he's giving me uh, attention, or uh, wants me to get him some attention. Alex, I tried to explain her, and she didn't believe me. Okay, I don't know what you're saying. Poor boy. What are you saying, Alex? Please explain to my wife how can Cobra guys and GT guys are different. Ah, uh, it, it's it's hard to explain. So Cobra guys buy a Cobra because it's a Cobra. Because they don't want to be seen as just Mustang guys. And if someone was to say, hey, nice Mustang, they'll correct you. And they'll say, no, it's a Cobra. And you're going to go, so that's not a Mustang. That is, what I'm looking at right there that looks just like that new edge, except it has a Cobra emblem and a different bumper cover, is not a Mustang? They're going to go, correct. I have a Mustang GT500 in the garage. It is not a Cobra, Shelby, whatever. It is a Mustang GT500. Cobra and Shelby guys say, no, no, and it's not a Cobra, it's a Shelby. No, it's not a Mustang. Uh, sorry, it's not a Mustang, it's a Shelby. It's not a Mustang, it's a Cobra. Sorry, guys, it's a Mustang. It's a fucking Mustang. So those are pompous guys that think they're, they bought something better than a Mustang. It's a Mustang. It just has badging in a different motor. At the end of the day, it's still a fucking Mustang. Shut the fuck up. That's the difference between them and Mustang guys. Mustang guy goes, yeah, I got a Mustang. And I put a blower on it with a 10 or 80 and it runs nines. Cobra guy goes... Uh, it's a stupid Mustang. I'm like, you have a Mustang too, bro. No, I don't have a Cobra. Lucid, their factory is by my house in California. Nice. I fight my feet every day before bedtime. Porsche Taycan. Uh, boom, bye, bye. Says, Alex, when will you make the dog do a quarter mile pass in the Fairmont? Never. The fucking PETA will be all over my shit. Tony's adorable. Get that little guy a teething toy. Your fingers will thank you. You guys think I don't have, I don't have teething toys? They're everywhere. They're in his crate. They're everywhere. He just doesn't give a fuck. 
He doesn't give a fuck. He goes, okay, I'm done with that one. I'm going to grab a Coke bottle. I fuck the Coke bottle, grab the teething toy. Then I'm going to bite the side of the couch and I'm going to bite Alex's hand. I, I like how you guys think that I don't know shit about dogs. Get him a teething toy. A problem fixed. He'll just shit on it. He'll shit and piss on it and bite the, the chair from the, uh, <laughs> in the kitchen. Ow. 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 Uh, how does 5.2 Voodoo compare to the regular 5.0? It's totally different. Different heads, different cams, different crankshaft, different displacement. It's totally different. Flat plane crank versus cross plane, blah, 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 blah. All right, guys, I got one minute left. God damn it, that was that was hard. I've been off the belief. I, I've been off the belief, unless it actually came from Shelby American, it's not a real Shelby. That being said, the three-valve Shelby, not the 350, the regular Shelby GT, that came from Shelby. That did not come from Ford with Shelby badging. That came from Shelby. So if anything is an original Shelby, it's that, a three-valve piece of shit. The GT500 was made at a Mustang plant, not at the Shelby factory. So take that, motherfuckers. All right, guys, I'm going to get the hell out of here. Those needle teeth. Yeah, exactly. I'm going to get a lot of you. Take them out. Feed them. Take them out. Do all that shit. Tony was uh, probably stole the show today. Hopefully, once he starts to chill out, he'll be more prevalent on the channel, just kind of sleeping most of the time. But for now, he's basically just biting everything, eating everything, shitting, ev shitting everywhere, and uh, doing his thing. All right. Again, thank you for joining on the daily show. Tomorrow, we'll be on at the same exact time, 5 o'clock every day. We'll see what the algorithm does. We'll do this for a month, and we'll see if that actually... <laughs> Are you on the turntables, the ones and twos? <laughs> I fuck with them all day. That's kind of all I do. I just kind of make them play guitar. I do <laughs> a little bit of everything, you know, swimming. <laughs> he does it all. Okay, guys, I'm going to get the fuck out of here. I'll be on tonight at that dating channel. If you're a member of that dating channel or a uh, subscriber to the dating channel, I'll see you guys at 8. And the rest of you, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Actually, no, tomorrow is the tomorrow's the regular show. So tomorrow, I'll see you guys at 8 o'clock. 8 o'clock tomorrow, regular show. Every other day after that will be 5 o'clock. Have a great Monday. See you guys later.